Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy, Javi Clips. You already know. If it's not Javi Clips, you getting clip, you heard? We're gonna do a mid-skin fade. Actually, we're gonna do a low-skin fade with some beard work. The eyebrows, let's get into this, you feel me? First thing we're gonna do is go in with our no-guard lever closed. And you're just gonna wanna start your first skyline at the bottom half of his head. And you're gonna kinda wanna go up and around his ear into the bottom half of his shape up you're gonna see right here this is why i got this gopro this so you can see all the angles as i'm cutting you can see what i see while i'm cutting and if you want you can also remove some of that bulk from underneath that first guideline but mind you you're gonna hit it up with your turbans anyway if you have to use your corners to create that dip then definitely do that the reason why i do it is because it saves me so much time in removing that bald line when you go into your next step you feel me same thing on the other side you're gonna do the exact same thing up and around his ear and you're gonna kind of want to dip a little bit once you pass his ear i chose to take off a little bit of the excess on the bottom just because i like doing it but you don't have to Use your corners. Like I said, you're going to have to remove all that excess anyway with your trimmers. And this is what you're doing. I'm going I'm going all the way up to that line, but I'm still flicking out. It's going to save you so much time, so much more time, instead of starting your guideline out with your trimmers. And if you do decide to do it with your trimmers, I would say do it with some dull trimmers. Now you're going to go in with your foil shavers and you're just going to... Ball that baby out, the whole bottom part of that, of the, anything from that guy line down, you're going to want to bald it out. You're going to want to also leave a little bit of space. I don't go all the way up. You also see I'm using my corners. Flick out, use your corners, don't go all the way up, and leave some space. That quick, you feel me, dogs? That quick. Moving on to our next step, we're going to go with our no guard open lever and you're just going to want to create about an inch guide line all the way around the head following the same starting bald line that you did with your clippers or trimmers in the initial part of the haircut. Just follow the same line all around the head. You want to give yourself enough room so that that blend looks gradient, that it's long and blended. For this type of haircut, the last video I posted was tight and compressed, but still, I would give yourself give yourself enough room to blend out so that way you don't have to struggle with trying to take out a line later. We're gonna go with our three guard open to close, following that same pattern, following that same guy line you did. You saw, I went from three open, three halfway open, three closed lever right now. Same thing, you're gonna do it all the way around the head, but I did it in parts. I did it on my on his left side, then I went to the back, then I went to the right. Our next step, you're gonna go same exact steps, no guard open, no guard halfway open, no guard close. Every time you change the lever, the position of your guard, you're gonna go lower into that fade and you see that right here. You see, I'm just scooping out. It's super simple. You're gonna wanna do this all the way around the head. And even if you get to your no guard closing, you still can't take that line out. Play with your lever, play with your corners. I promise you, you'll be able to take that out. Just have a little bit of patience. After a while, you get your whole schedule, your whole routine on how you cut hair, how you give specific cuts, and it's just gonna be like one, two, three. You're gonna do it real quick and you're gonna save so much time. Doing this all the way around the head. You see those Supreme Johns, right? Oh, it doesn't have to be Andes. It doesn't have to be walls on this part. For whatever clippers you're using, it's the same thing. I'm using these just because I feel like they don't get close to the skin. So when I do transition from my no guard to that number one, two, three, it's going to be easier for me to take that top line out. Same thing on the other side. Whatever you did on one side, you do on the other side. You see it's at my open lever now. And then I went to my halfway. Then I'm going to go to my closed lever. 
Every single time you go lower into that fade Lower, closer to that bottom line Trying to take it out And if you have to use your corners like I'm doing Use your corners as well, you feel me? Don't be afraid to take too much hair off Don't be afraid of cutting hair, eh? You have to cut hair <laughs> You have to cut enough hair in order to make that blend nice So right now I'm gonna go with my two guard open same exact steps you're doing with your two guard halfway open and then you go with your two guard closed like this and you slowly go down into that bottom part of that blend now you're gonna go with your one and a half guard right after this same exact steps it's open lever right now i just closed it halfway i got closer to that bottom part that bottom line now it's closed and now I'm attacking that line. Once you get to this number one guard, you're gonna start seeing the blend come to life. Like I said, same exact steps. Every single time you change your guard, every single time you change your level, you get closer to that bottom line. Once you get to this one guard, you start seeing that blend come to life and you're seeing that right now. Almost, almost blended. Almost as if I didn't need my 16th guard, but you should definitely use your 16th guard, your half guard. It's not gonna make you a real barber if you don't use it. It's not gonna make you a fake barber if you do. Just use it. <laughs> it's gonna help you with your plants. It's gonna help you with your fates. I'm still not to the point where I don't need to use it, you feel me? Finishing off with the side of the head, I'm going on with my trimmers. You're using me use both my hands My right hand is holding the top part of the trimmers While my left hand is kind of controlling the direction of how the trimmers is going And if you didn't get it that first time Don't be afraid to hit it that one time again Just make it look that extra sharp That quick, that easy You don't have to put anything else to it Trying to make it look as natural as it can as well Lining up the back part of my beard while I'm back here as well That's all I'm gonna do, just make it straight down And if you have to comb some of that extra hairs Comb it out of that boundary that you made and cut it off How I did right here I'm also using my corners Don't, don't forget about your corners guys Going back to the fade, I'm just going with my one and a half guard Same steps, open and close If I see any imperfections, I'ma go back to it Don't spend too much time on one side of the head Cause you got the whole fade to do So, literally what I did on that side You're gonna do on the other side as well I'm gonna show you some footage as well And how I connect each side So I'm starting off from my left side moving on to the back just connecting that two guard into the fade quick and easy there's no extra steps and it's the same process all around you feel me so that's gonna lower the amount of time it's gonna take you to cut hair trying to take lines out trying to make the fade as low as it can and this this is a great system that I've just used for the past couple months Watching other barbers Talking to other barbers Seeing how other barbers work And just trying to make it my own At the end of the day You don't have to use these exact same steps You could take some parts of what you like from what I'm doing Some parts of what other people are doing And making it to your own But if you like how I'm doing my, 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 my fades If you like how I'm doing all of this Then by all means go ahead This is why I made this channel To help you out when I was coming up in the game, I felt like no one really explained it. No one really showed all the steps like this. So I'm trying to help the earlier version of me, the younger version of me four years ago who didn't know how to cut hair, who didn't know what to do. I'm just trying to help you. <laughs> you feel me? And if you mess with me, just go ahead, like this video, comment in the video what you thought about it, what you're thinking about it so far. Show some love and I'm going to show some love back. I appreciate you While I was ranting I was doing the same exact steps I did on the other side I'm, I keep emphasizing this because it's so simple You're gonna do the same steps on the whole entire fade 
And if you wanted to, you could have done the same steps with the same guards. Instead of just doing it on one side of the head, you could have done it all around. And then you go with your next guard and do it all around. Sometimes I do it like that too. This is our point five guard just taking care of the rest of the fade. And it's starting to look really, really good. Now I'm just connecting the back side of it. The back right side of it to the rest of the fade. And it's just repetition from here on out. Just repetition. Just having an eye out. Just looking for what to look for. Seeing if one side is patchy. One little spot is a little darker than the rest. If the fade doesn't go in total unison. After a while you're just going to get everything in your in your mind you're just gonna see everything before you even do it sometimes too you're gonna know what problems you're gonna have you're gonna know how you should approach certain haircuts and it's just trial and error trial and error the more you fail the more you're gonna succeed the more you're gonna learn from all your failures you feel me and i'm just going back and forth with my one and my point five guard just trying to make that fade really really nice and if you have to go back to a higher guard or a lower guard to take anything out or make anything lighter then definitely do that as well you saw how i just switch back and forth it's all it's about now i'm just doing all my little detail work finishing up the blend on the back too going in with my no guard i'm just doing a little bit of detail work using my corners as well see a little bit of a dark patch so i'm gonna just take care of that the reason why i ended up using my wall seniors is because it gets a little closer to the skin you remember how we did the other shape up the other hook you're gonna do the same thing and i'm using both my hands as well you see that i do that because my hands are just shaky you know, I feel like I could really perfect it in one solid, almost two tries if I do it with both my hands. I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to push the natural shape up higher than what it is already or than what it would be or what it is. I don't want to push him back. So that's why I'm very extra careful. Last thing we're going to do on the sides is our number four guard with our closed lever. You're just going to run that up and out around his head just to finish it off. Damn, he's looking good. You feel me? He's looking real Rico Suave. He's looking mad nice right now. It's a nice blend. It's a clean blend. We didn't touch anything on the top. Mind you, we did this complete skin fade without touching anything on the top. But he did want to texturize the top and i'm going to show you how to do that later but right now we're just gonna fade out the beard we started with my no guard open and i'm just fading upwards so we start with no guard open then you go with your no guard halfway open and then close but doing it up instead of down you're gonna do the same thing with the number one and a half guard and if you have to use your corners and definitely use your corners i still saw a little bit of a line so i ended up using my one guard Still playing with my levers, still using my corners, and I ended up using my 16th guard, I believe. Honestly, it doesn't even need like it looks like. It doesn't even need like it needs it, honestly. It's a nice skin blend. I didn't even need it. And I measured that out with the comb just to see where his natural baby hairs are. I don't want to push anything back. I want to keep it super natural with this specific cut. This is all just trimmer work now. Just straight trimmer work. Whatever we do with the trimmers, we're going to go back and hit it with our razor. Our eyebrows too, we're going to end up hitting next. And you can see right here, I didn't push any of that back. I just kept it super natural for my boy. My boy, Zach. See how that was? Just a little tap, a little tap, tap. <laughs> Going in with our eyebrows, I'm just gonna outline the outside silhouette of it. You could already see his eyebrows are naturally 
shaped so i'm just emphasizing that as much as i can taking any straight hairs out and for the bottom part of his eyebrows i do like stretching the skin out and using my corners to make it really shaped out really natural i don't push anything back i don't make your eyebrows thinner either don't try to make your eyebrows your clients eyebrows thinner about to look crazy you about to have your eyebrows looking crazy you better have your clients looking walky don't do that please please don't do that unless they ask you for that unless it's good unless y'all both with it otherwise you're gonna make them look crazy and i'm just outlining the top part of his lip the bottom part of his lip the bottom part of his mustache making everything straight making sure that it goes into the direction of his lips parallel to the top of his lips taking any straight away hairs out and you see i'm using my corners too i'm using my corners a lot because i don't want to take too much off i'm just shaping everything in actuality that's really what i'm doing i'm just shaping everything up clean simple for the bottom part i do like using my clippers the same way i started off with my guy line only because it has such a wider blade so it could get rid of more bulk quicker and easier and i do shape that bottom part of his beard up with the same clippers as well Making everything as natural as I can Straight across the neck Not across the jawline unless they ask you Please Because if your client is a little tubby And you give him his beard line across the neck He's gonna have a double chin showing And you don't wanna do that You wanna make it look as neat as it can And with the beard At that length At that bottom length You can give it the illusion of them having a solid Straight bottom jawline You see how I just Finesse that line up It looks like he has a jawline My man is looking crispy Right here I'm just taking any flyaways That I see too Hovering my blade Right above his beard Hovering just taking any flyaways off Because I'm, I'm I'm Picasso You feel me? I'm trying to make it look super nice Like I said Remember when you hit everything with the trimmers? That's like your draft work You in school right now You feel me? Dr. Clips Professor Clips right now Is teaching you how to do it You just hit everything up with the razor Right after you did it with the trimmers Remember how we lifted the skin up? When we did it with the with the with the trimmers we're gonna do the same thing with the razor just make sure to lift that skin up and for the beard i'm using easy blade shave gel this gel is really nice the shaving gel is amazing my clients love it they love the smell of it and make sure to pull the skin don't push anything back make sure to push pull the skin away from where you're cutting you don't want to give your clients nicks even if you do it sometimes, try to minimize that sometimes into no times, you feel me? I occasionally be giving my clients nicks and I feel bad every single time because I'm, I'm like, yo, I know I could I could have avoided that nick. You know, just be extra careful what you're doing. When I'm lining the beard up right here, you're going to see I ask my client to puff their cheek out sometimes. And I love using my clippers when shaping up the beard just because the blade is so much bigger and it just, it, it, I think it's perfect for beard work. I use my trimmers though when I'm doing detail work, when I'm doing my finishing work, like right here. I went with my clippers and then I hit it with my trimmers. But you can do either or. If you want to hit it with your trimmers, you can more than happy to do that. You feel me? There's nothing, there's no right, there's no wrong way of cutting hair. There's no right, wrong technique. As long as you get from point A to point B in a decent amount of time, you should be alright, my G. Depending on how your client's cheek and facial structure is, if it's really bony, you might have to ask them to puff their cheek out. But my client had fairly smooth 
facial features, so I didn't really have to ask him to puff his cheek out either. But you see, I just kept his beard super natural, as high as I could, while still maintaining it sharp. If he wanted to keep it as natural as he could, it will not be sharp, super sharp, just because some of his hairs are still kind of growing out at the top, or it's a little bit patchy. But right here, you see me ask him to puff his cheek out, just to ensure that I don't go all the way down. And this makes it easier for you to keep the beard straight by asking him to puff his cheek out his cheeks are now even everything is one almost one even playing field and look at how crisp that is bro look at how crisp that is i'm just attacking it a little bit a little bit more and just taking care of all the extra hairs that are on his cheek what you did on one side of the face you're gonna do on the exact same other side you feel me just making it Bring it down ever so slightly just so it is sharp while still maintaining it natural i didn't drop it down all the way i didn't end up giving him a chin strap don't give your clients a chin strap when they have a full beard and try to maintain everything as you can on this side i'm doing the same thing pulling away from where i'm cutting pulling away from where i'm using that razor blade Sometimes you might ask them to puff their cheek out Sometimes you might not Depending on how the beard is Depending on how you end up shaving everything Like I said, after you do that line After you first shape it up Then you take care of everything else above that line But he's looking real Rico Suave hey? He's looking real smooth Look at that Look at that, my man Looking real smooth I'm telling you, I'm Picasso I'm Picasso in the making Professor Clips, hobby clips. Gonna take over the world. You guys gonna take over. And I hope you take over with me. I hope you join this long process. Watch me get better. Watch me teaching you new techniques. Making new moves. And changing up the industry. I hope you're in this whole thing with me. And I hope we make it till the end. You heard? Damn, on the beard, on the top part of his mustache, same thing. I like to pull away from where I'm cutting. I also don't tell them to stretch their mustache out that much because it changes the shape of their mustache. So I tell them to relax and I just cut it. On top, we're just doing a little bit of sheer works. We're just texturizing a little bit, running that scissor through his hair side to side and halfway cutting i'm not cutting fully because i don't want to cut any length i just want to texturize it a little bit and you see it right here i'm just, i'm just running the scissors through his hair you see that last thing but not least all we're doing is just taking care of any little stray away hairs he's looking real rico suave looking real smooth He's ready for the club. He's too sexy for his syrup, you heard? My man is looking crisp. That Amkoski came kind of go hard on this cut, though. I got to lie. I still look like a villain right now, bro. <laughs> That's fire. That's fire. This is what he looked like before. My man's... I don't know, bro. My man's was looking too, too, too good. He looked a little sick. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I was gonna ask him, like, yo, bro, you good? You got a little fever? But nah, man. You know what changes a man's life? A haircut. Look at that. A low skin fade. Beard work. Eyebrows done. Texturized top. Damn, it couldn't be better than this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful fade. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like, comment. I'm gonna see you on the next one, yeah? If it's not Javi Clips, you're getting clipped.